Hey everybody, it's Tweets here. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom container. Just a simple storage container. Alright, so I went on and I got a, a, a model to work with. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go check out models. Um, I went to Sketchfab and just got a free one, but there are a couple good sites for 3D models. Some cost money, but they are worth it. Um, I'll link some of them below in the description, along with the file that we're working on today so you can use it as a reference and help you so what we're going to do first is i'm going to go to my p drive and i am going to create a folder and i'm just going to call this sample create all right and then inside here i'm going to create a folder call it data now I am going to open the file that I downloaded for the 3D model, and we're going to take the textures out of here. First, we need to convert them. So I'm going to bring up Daisy Tools, go to Text View, and we're just going to slide them in. All right, so there's my texture. We're going to save it into our P drive folder that we just created. And I'm just going to call this crate underscore co paa. And sometimes it can take a while, depending on the size of the image. All right, so now we've got the base color. We are going to need metallic. And right there, they usually tell you we're going to take the metallic. We're going to save this as our P drive sample crate. All right. I clicked on crate underscore CO just so I can get the same name, but I'm going to delete the CO and instead replace that with SMDI.PAA. And that will be the metallic. And then we're going to take the normal here, the blue one. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. Save it. P drive, sample crate, data, click here, and we're just going to change, instead of SMDI, we're going to put no HQ dot PAA. All right, and that's for your material. You'll give it the texture, the better depth. It won't look so flat. All right, now that we have those, I am going to take a RV mat from, you know what, we'll just take it from like a sea chest or something. So let's go look for sea chest, which I'm pretty sure isn't camp. It might be rod, but it is. All right. So you're going to go to DZ deer camping data. And inside here, look for sea chest. Obviously, it's alphabetical order. All right, and we're going to look for the RV mat, but not the destructive damage. And I am not seeing. You know, we could just take the undeployable one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty sure we'll be all right with that. Oh, right here in front of my face, that sea chest. Sometimes uh, after doing this for a while, yeah. He did a little blurry. All right, so I'm just going to rename that now that we paste it in our work drive. I'm just going to name it Crate. And then I'm going to open that with Notepad++ or Visual Studio Code. And now you see how Stage 1 and Stage 5, these are what you're going to want to worry about. You see the paths here with their no HQ and down here, same thing, but with their SMBI. So now we're just going to repath that to our new crate. So we're going to take our path, but not the P, just the sample crate. And we're going to replace it. We're going to do the same for stage five, just after data. So it should look like that. And now we're going to take our materials. I usually go with the SMDI because I'm already at the bottom. So we'll go with the SMDI. Paste it. There we go. 
Now the no H2. We're going to take that. Paste it. And there you go. Now you have an RV mat. So we'll just save that. And done. Now you're going to bring up your Daisy tools. And you're going to bring up Object Builder. You're going to go to File, Import, FX, FBX, sorry. And you're going to look for your model right there. And you're just going to guess on this. If it's too big like that, that's way too big. Just hit Control Z and re import it. And make it a little smaller by changing the master scale to a higher. There we go. Now we can just make it even smaller. Now, once you select everything, you can. I usually hit um, four views. I like the four view look. So I'll do a window, four views. There we go. And if you take left control, hold left control and left shift at the same time. And then hold with your right click on the mouse and drag. You can either make it smaller or you can make it bigger. So you're just going to make it smaller. And you're going to keep it centered like that. All right. And this could actually be a little smaller. There we go. That should be all right for now. All right, so now we have our size, what we want. Now I am going to hit E once everything is selected. Hit E. You're going to start with your texture. So hit the little folder. Go to your um, sample crate data. Change down here to TGA, put that to PAC and PAA. You're going to go to the crate CO. And now we're going to go to material right here. Same thing, folder. And it'll automatically see your RV mat that you just made earlier. Great. Apply. OK. And then you'll start up your bulldozer so you can preview it. Make sure everything looks right. All right. Now we can preview. See what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Everything looks right. All right. Looks good. So now we can close this. And then we can get back to work. So now you got the texture on there. You got it sized. Now we're going to go. And now that all selected, I'm going to just delete these three that are popped up and just create a new one. And we're going to call this crate. And then we're also going to create another new one. I'm just going to put Z-B-Y-T-E-K. Now, you could also just call it camo or texture, whatever you want, really. Um, now that that's done, we are going to create a geometry. So you're going to create up here on the top left. Go to bots. Hit OK. Now we're going to get this lined up to size with the actual model that we're doing. So, just did it all here. You did it to size. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it pretty close. And this will this will also help make it like a solid item, so you can't actually like walk through it. <laughs> you can like it'll it'll be a solid item. And so now you got that. You're gonna zoom in. Sometimes you gotta zoom in to get close and get the whole thing selected. Copy it and then delete. I delete it right from here now that it's copied. And you're gonna go over here. Where my mouse is where you see 0 0.000 right click create a new item right click on that new one go to properties we're going to go with geometry first we're going to paste that box in here we're going to go to structure 
topology, find components. Now you'll see down here it says component 01, that's good. Over here, down in the bottom left, you're gonna see property name. You're gonna right click in this box, hit new. We're gonna call it auto center on the name. And then on the value, we're just gonna put zero, hit enter. And now that that's all set up, you're gonna copy this component 01. And we're gonna create another new LOD. LOD properties. We're going to do this one fire geometry, paste component, and then another new one properties. We're going to go to view geometry, paste. All right, now we got all that. We're going to do another new this one. We're going to call this memory. And I'm going to paste to get a reference here. <coughs> Now from here, you're going to kind of go a little above or kind of where my mouse is. You're going to hit insert. Now you see a little dot just popped up here. And now that that's red, make sure it's selected. Go to new. You're going to type this one bound in bots underscore min. And then we're going to do the same thing, but down in this corner, a little bit below it, insert, new, bound in bots, underscore, mats. All right. And now in the middle, I am going to do this kind of right here. I'll just do right here. Insert. We're going to create new, and we're going to call this one CE underscore center. All right. So now we got all that set up. And then we got this all set up. I am going to take the 0 0.0001. I'm going to right click, go to duplicate a couple times. And that should be good enough. And then from here, that's pretty much it for a simple storage. Um, in a later video, I'll show you how to do some some more intricate ones where you can animate the, the lids and stuff, open, close, add proxy, so whatever attachment can be attached to it, you'll actually see it. But for now, we're just doing a simple storage. So now we're gonna save this as, so in here, it's in our simple crate already on our P drive. I'm just going to call this one sample underscore. I'll spell it right first. Crate. Enter. So now we've got the 3D model all config for the game through the model wise. So we're going to exit that. And now what we can do first, we need to make a model config. I have numerous model configs already. So I will just, um, Use one that I've used, and you can just use it from the file in the description. So let me go get that real quick. I'll just use my tweets chest one. There we go. Data. Copy that. Back to my page. All right. Now that we have, I have a model config, I'm just going to go open that. And you want to make sure that it is the exact same as your model name. So you're going to go over here where it says skeleton, right after skeleton, put your model name. Down here, under class, it's your model name. And then right here is the same as the top one. This animation stuff. You're not going to have to worry about. Let me get this so it actually looks right. Not until a uh, later day when we do animated models, which I will show you in a future video. Now, we don't need any of the animations, so get rid of that. All right. I'm going to change chest to crate, and this is a lowercase c because that's what I had in there. 
We don't need lid or any of that. All right, so I'm gonna save this. And like I said, this will be in the description. So you'll have all this to work from and use as a reference. All right, now that we have that done, we are gonna to go to your P drive, DZ, and we're gonna to go to Deer, Campin, and then you're gonna open up the config. Since we're just making a simple crate, we're just gonna piggyback off of the C chest. So we're gonna create a new folder now. Okay, now we're gonna go back here to this code here from the gear that we just took. We're gonna copy from line 19 all the way up to one. And we are gonna paste it in the new one that we just opened. And now we're going to go back to that other one and we're going to look for the C chest so we could just go to find and type in C chest and it'll bring us right to it. Okay, we're going to take all of the C chest here. This way we can mess with it and we can change like what we want it to have like inventory size and if you want it buried or not, so we can just mess with it and have fun with it. So I will show you that. First, what we want to do is create another class over from line 19 down. We're going to, just like what I'm doing, create another class. We're going to take C chest, replace container base with C chest. And then we're going to rename C this one right here to sample or whatever you want underscore crate. Um, you can change the display name if you want. I'm just gonna put sample and then a description. This is a sample and then boom. Now you're gonna go from the model. So you're gonna go get your path to your model from your P drive, just like this. And you are gonna replace this path. And then you are gonna get your model name. Boom, that's it. Now you don't really need to worry about all of this stuff here to delete that's there um this here item size you can change let's say i want to make it 200 slots so i would take make that well this here is the size of how it's gonna be like how big it is if you put it in your inventory so we don't want to make that 200 slots but it, say you want to make it a little bit bigger so it's you can't just stick it in your jacket or something or I would make it, let's say 30 slots. 10 and three, that'll be 30 slots. Now we're gonna get rid of camo ground and change that to Z, B, Y, Z, E, K, or camo or test or whatever you put in your model. And now we're gonna get the path to the texture. So, again, just get the path. And you're going to go for the CO one. That is your base color. The stuff we're not going to worry about. Cargo. Now, this is where you can change it to the actual chest's inventory. So, 10 and 10, that's 100. Say you wanted it to be 2 to 300. Just go 10, 30, 300. There you go. Um, this is a C chest, so obviously this is variable. But if you want to change that right here, where it says can be did, if you don't want it variable, change that to a zero. If you do, just change it to a one. Um, you, can, you can mess with the weight 
and you can change that to whatever you want. Make it lighter if you want. And then that's it. That's pretty much it for the sample. So now, once that's all set, you have the path, you have your class, you have your edits. You can just save it as, go to P, sample crate. And then save it config.cpp or make sure you have under the type of it C save. All right, there we go. That's it. This should be done. So now what we're going to do is exit it and we're going to pack it. So we're going to go to source directory and we are going to go look for your P drive. Simple crate, and we're gonna click OK and then pack. And it's going straight in my add ons folder. Um, you can change this to have it go right on your desktop, but I always go and do a quick test in the offline mode. All right, so now that it is packed, we'll go to our offline mode. So we'll bring up Steam, go to your library, go to Daisy, manage, browse local files, missions and then choose whatever map you want. And then Daisy to me offline mode. Um, I do have <clears throat> a video from before that has um, explanation on offline mode. There's a link in the description at, on one of the videos in the past to get offline mode. So just go back and you'll see it all. All right, now we are in the offline mode. I will give it a test and let's spawn it in and see if it shows up. We'll bring up our tool here with Y. Object, change the state to a thousand, so it's pristine. And type in the class name, sample, create, there it is. And ground. Oh, I didn't spawn it. That was funny. Not, all right, hold on one minute. Sample, one thousand. Around. There it is. Boom. And as you see, 300 slots. And there it is. All set. You can just pick it up. Place it. Because it's got the sea chest. It's a little big. Um, you can shrink it down in your model. Like I showed you. But that's it. And if you have any questions, you can always join my Discord link will be in the description. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Catch you in the next one. Peace.